Welcome to the Queen Elsa Talk Show, real talk for real people. I'm your host, Pastor Corey Baker, and we're going to have an awesome show today. We're, the topic is faith that causes things to shift. Faith that causes things to shift. We have a have some awesome guests to this today, and we're going to let them introduce themselves as we talk about this topic, faith that causes things to shift. Um, Pastor Asai, introduce yourself. Yes, I'm Jarvis Atside. I'm a senior pastor of St. Luke uh, Church in uh, East Macon, uh, Macon, Georgia. And I'm excited to be here sharing uh, the gospel with you all today. Awesome. We're glad to have you on the show. Yes, pastor Bob. Hey, man. I'm Pastor Barber from Word Up Ministries in Atlanta. Uh, outreach. I'm just glad to be here uh, sitting among some other believers in faith and talking about this shift. Amen. Praise the Lord. Dr. Frank. I'm Dr. Ernest Franklin Jr. from New Beginning Worship Center, 200 Southside Drive in Ministry, Georgia. I am more than glad to be here with this awesome group of people that are going to share light on to me uh, on the ship. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're excited about the show. We're excited about this topic, thing, faith that causes things to shift. Uh, when I think about something shifting, uh, back in the days in the old school, I had a little, little um, Acre Integra. had a little Acre Integra, <laughs> a little five-speed, and I was learning how to drive that thing. But when I learned how to drive that thing, guess what I understand? That in order to shift, my feet had to move. On, my feet I had to like move. That if I didn't move my feet, wow. I, 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 would, I would stay stuck. Yes. What do you think about faith that causes things to shift, Pastor Asa? <laughs> well, I think that faith that causes things to shift uh, is a faith. Um, that is um, that is constantly evolving, um, and I think I say evolving because we our faith is increased as we go through a series of trials mm -hmm. and, uh, and tribulations. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for an example, you know, as a thirty-year-old preacher of the gospel, I can recall many times preaching about faith, talking about faith. One is is talking about how God is a healer. Well, I really didn't know God to be a healer until I got sick one day, yes, and so that experience uh, through experience. Through life experiences, my faith shifts as a result of um, how God can bring you through a situation. Amen. Yeah. So it's, it's evolving faith. It's evolving. It just don't happen overnight. No. It just it's not you're not going to wake up and be at the same level as another individual. But Big Mom said you had to go through some yes, stuff. Yes, you had to go yes, through yes, some yes, stuff. Then yes, the order for your you go from glory to glory, glory, to glory. and faith to faith. Yes, sir. What do you think, Pastor Walker? <laughs> Man, uh, when I was just meditating on it, this this uh, very familiar, uh, familiar passage of a quote that uh, Martin Luther King once said, he said, uh, if I can't run, then I'll crawl. Mm. If I can't crawl, then I'll walk. But And, and the whole thing, just paraphrasing it, was saying you got to keep going forward. So, so to have sure. that faith to keep pushing even when you can't reach it, yes. even yeah. when you can't see it, yes. and to step out on faith even when you don't know where it's going to take you, yeah. but you just keep stepping in. And so yes, for me, my example of that would just be even though I can't reach it, but I have faith to believe that it's there just because he's a supernatural God, and he's always working in the supernatural. So, so uh, I can definitely touch and agree with my brother yeah. uh, getting sick, I, preaching about faith to the homeless and telling them that your situation is <laughs> going to turn around and money is coming your way. Just yeah. have faith. Keep on believing but actually being homeless uh that that woke me up to be like okay lord i'm not just preaching no more this is reality yeah. now i really have to hold on to your yes. unchanging hand like grandma and them used to say back That's in the right. day so i really had that chance to experience that faith that causes things to shift and mm. by me holding on i felt the shift and now i could testify and go back to them and say yes i experienced being homeless yes i experienced where you are yes. but yes. having faith having faith it got me to shift yes, out of the state that I was in to the state that I am now. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Dr. Franklin, what do you think about well, this? First of all, I, I want to agree. I like that you said uh, when you, in order to, to, to change your gears to <laughs> yeah, a, a different, good. to shift to another gear, good. you had to move your feet. To, yes, sir. Yeah, I like that because uh, the Bible says faith without work is so true. Dead. Dead. Right. So, you, the other way, when you're moving your foot, you're working. Mm -hmm. you know? And then also, when you move your foot, then you got to move your hand. Mm. You got to put all that together all that yeah. in order to make it work. Now, I stepped out on faith, too. Right. Uh, uh, I, I realized that uh, when I stepped out to, uh, to start New Beginning Worship Center, okay. I had to have faith mm. that God was with me. Right. But now, if I had just said, told my wife, I said, baby, if, if, what about starting a church? And I never stepped out to do anything then it never manifest. So but when we stepped out together mm -hmm. 
and put what God told us to do together. And it had to be by faith that we did it because we didn't have anything. Yeah. Now, we, 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 we wasn't, didn't have a silver spoon in our mouth when we were born. So we had to step out on faith that what we, whatever we need, God was going to do it for us. Right. And God has done what he said he was going to do. And I thank God for it. But now, if I had not stepped out Come on, now. on faith, I wouldn't, we wouldn't be where we are today. Yes, sir. Yes, so so, so we, we all agree that in order to have faith that shifts, that causes things to shift, that there, there must be movement. Oh, there yes, must right. be yeah. action in your life. That, that faith is corresponding mm-hmm. action. Wow. That wow. you're going to have to do something. Yep. Yeah. That, that yeah. It, it, yeah. It's no longer that they tell you, um, name it and claim it. Yes. But yes. you have to move yeah. in the direction that you're believing God. If yeah. you believe in God to go back to school, that you got to go fill out the registration. That's right. <laughs> if you believe in God to, to buy a home, you got to go down and, and, and mm-hmm. to the um, loan office, yes. the, um, the realtor, and, yes. and start working on your credit. So that that, that there has to be an action with yes, your faith. Yes, what do you think? I was thinking about um, I was thinking about Peter. I was thinking about Peter when they was in the storm and and and, and um Peter looked out. He saw Jesus on the water, yeah. and I was trying to figure out um that Peter said he said Lord if it's you. Yeah. If it's you. He didn't. He didn't know it, it yeah, was Jesus. Yeah. He said, "If it's if you, it's yeah. bid me to come." Uh-huh, uh-huh. And this is what Jesus said: "Come, come." Now he didn't know if it was him. Yeah. He said, "But if it's you, because that's what real faith is. Yeah. Real faith is going yes. when I really don't know. Yes, I really so don't know how it's going to turn out at the loan yeah. office, yeah, but I'm going because <laughs> because know why? Because Jesus gave him the green light to go. Mm-hmm. So and sometimes God will give you the green light, and you don't know. I don't know how this thing going to turn." Out, but he told me to go look for the building. I don't know how this thing gonna turn out, but he told me to try to open up the church. You know, you know. I don't know how this thing turn out. That's that that's that's the type of faith that causes things to shift. Now, this is what I noticed, Pastor Asai, that when 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 um when Peter stepped out of the boat, notice what happens. That's when the problem happened. <laughs> yeah. My God. Because yeah. what, it, what, what, what it lets me know is, is that what faith that causes things to shift is not without opposition. Yes, sir. What, what yes, do you sir. think, Pastor Asai? Yeah, I think mm. just that. Uh, uh, everything you say uh, complements what Scripture says in Hebrews 11, that faith is the substance of things hoped for, mm. the evidence of things not seen, which simply means faith is trusted in something you can't explicitly, explicitly prove. Yeah. I can't mm. prove that it's going to happen. I can't prove that something is going to manifest, but I'm connected to God through my faith. So even when you look at Peter, everybody focus on the fact that when he took his eyes off Jesus, yeah. but nobody looked at the fact that he was brave enough, he had yeah. enough faith. Yeah. My God. God. My God. And so if we're going to celebrate anything, we ought to celebrate the fact that he, 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 he said, God, you know what? If this you, God says, yes, come. He says, all right, well then guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to move in faith. And listen, yeah. I, when you talk about the piece of the problems didn't begin to manifest, you you're no long, You're not a threat to Satan if you're not operating in faith. My God, <laughs> speak my God. My God. You, you're not a threat because the enemy, no the enemy to faith is doubt. The uh-huh. enemy of faith is unbelieving. Yeah. And as long as Satan can keep us in a place in a realm of unbelief, he know that he can uh, keep us from shifting yeah. to what God wants us to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you, so you will agree that when Peter stepped out in the water, he he might have looked crazy. He yep. might have looked foolish. Yep. But sometimes it's, you got to do the do do the foolish. It's the so, foolish yeah. thing. Yeah, it's the foolish thing. What, what do you think, Pastor Ball? Well, man, I just listen to him. He kind of summed it up. But I also understand that, you know, the Bible says a double-minded man is unstable and all of his ways. Amen. So if you're going to say, well, it could be or yep. it, no, I'm just going to step because you gave me permission. You oh. gave me the green light to step. <laughs> yeah. So when you operate and you just go just because he gave you the yes, so true. it's going to work out. It, but it's when we get back into our flesh. Yes. That we begin to sing. Yes, yes. And, and a lot of people you always talk about, oh, he's singing, he's singing. But he was doing good until he got back into his flesh. Oh, yeah. So I, I personally, I agree with my brother. Totally, 100% agree. We mm-hmm. just can't be double-minded in okay. our faith. We got to stay on his promises. Stay on his word. That's all I got. And, and, and you, I, I you, said, you said he began this. He, it's, this is what it said. It didn't say, it said when he began to sing. Mm-hmm. Yes. That, that if you're going to have faith, that, that shift thing, mm-hmm. that you don't wait until it go all the way down. Come on, come on, come on. That, that if you're going to have he faith, that, that that's going to shift stuff yes. when you see it going when down. It, when he got an inch of going to get what he said. He said, Lord, save me. Yes. What, what, what do you think, Dr. Yeah. Dr. Frank? Yeah. I, I, let me back up just a little bit. I, I, y- 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 y'all <laughs> step ahead of where I want to be. Yes, Hallelujah. Sir. Now, 
when, when Peter saw Jesus come walking on the water, yeah. it didn't say when the rest of them on the boat saw him, when so Peter, yeah. Peter yeah. saw yeah. him. Peter. So Peter. Other, other way, other way it, it was a personal thing. Yes, yeah. they, yes, the rest of them probably didn't see him, yeah. but Peter saw him. Yeah. And so Peter said, if, it be, if, if you be the true king, right. Be at me to come. Right. So he stepped out in the boat. He did. Mm -hmm. Now the rest of them in the boat might have been saying, "Well, what is this fool doing?" Yes, yes. that's right. That's the same way they do us today when that's we right. step out on oh, faith right. to do the wow. will of God. Hallelujah. Somebody gonna say, "What is that fool doing?" That's right. Wow. That's but right. guess what? When we make that, when we step on faith, then God gonna send the shift. That's true. And that's what happened to Peter. When Peter stepped out on faith, then that's when Jesus started shifting him to another so level. Yes, Although he was going down, but Jesus was picking him up. Yes, uh, yes. The Bible says Jesus reached out and picked him up. Yes. So when, that's what we got to do. When, when we start sinking, mm -hmm. not, not in sin now, that's right. doing the will of God. Yes, so right. they, because that's what Peter was doing. Yes, he was right. doing the will of God because God bid him come. Right. So when, when we are doing the will of God and we begin to say, not sink now, when we begin to sink, Jesus is right there to pick us up. So true. But now, if we don't call him, uh oh, if we oh, don't no. call him and don't have a personal relationship with him, that's right. then he's not there to pick us up. Yeah. Yes, sir. He will pick us up if we call him. Yeah. Don't care where you are. Don't, 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 don't care where you are. Don't care where you are. But we got to understand something. When God tells you to do something, regardless of how it, so bad true. it looked, how so stupid true. it looked, all you got to do is do it. Come yeah. on, do it. By faith, yes. all yes. things are possible. So Pastor, true. You said, yes, you said that, 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 <laughs> that yes, sometimes sir. you got to look crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the other one, the other 11 still on the boat. <laughs> yeah. the uh -huh. boat. Now, this is what you got to know. Why they in the storm, you know, everybody panicking. Yep. But guess what? Peter didn't wait till things got right. So true. So true. <laughs> so true. So Peter true. didn't wait till things were good yes, sir. to yes, get sir. out of the boat. No, he didn't. Like because, see, see, some folk got faith as long as I got money in the bank. <laughs> Come on, some folk got faith Come as long as my yeah, child yeah, acting good, yeah, 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 as yeah, long as I'm getting yeah, approved yeah, for the loan. Yeah. But, but God want to know, do you got faith while you're broke? They open yes, up sir. the business. Yes, sir. God yes, want to know, do you got faith yes. while your credit still so jacked true. up so to true. purchase the house? That's see, God, that's the type of faith that shifts up. You know what Dr. Frank said? Frank said, he said, oh, when, when, when he began to go down. Now, this is what, that, that faith that shift thing, notice that the water that was above his waist is now almost over his head. Wow. See, you really ain't going to have faith that shift stuff That's until nice. stuff is over your head. So true. When, when, when it's so almost true. over your head yep. and you still trust in God. So true. This is how you say, God, this thing is over my head. My the business you want me to open is yep. over my head. Over my head. I, the, the building you got me looking for with the money that I have yes, is sir. over my head. Yes, but guess what, God? He said, Lord, save me. Yes, sir. Save me. Oh, my. What, what do you save think? What do you think? <laughs> That's, that's not what you think. I mean, I'm getting excited right here, man. Yes, I think that um, I think Peter's Peter's when he began to sing, I think it is a real picture of what happens when a believer step out on faith. Yes. The real picture comes in in the sense that when God tells us to do something, think about the walkthrough of the process. Yes. So you move in, you say, okay, God, I got faith. Yeah. But then what happens when you begin to move toward the things of God? You're going to be faced with trials and tribulations. Yes. So it is a real picture. But what I like, the same thing that got Peter on the water is the same thing that got him out of out of a dry really, <laughs> really, really, guys, and when Peter was sinking, really, Peter committed spiritual suicide. Oh, my oh. God. My God. Yeah, he committed spiritual suicide because he began to sink. He was getting ready, easily, he was getting ready to die. When we do not operate in faith, we commit spiritual suicide. My God. Mm. My God. But he said, Lord, save me. He said, Lord, save me. Yeah, save me. yeah. The same thing that got me out in the water it's was the same thing that's going to get me, <laughs> that's going to keep me from drowning, that's going to keep me from committing spiritual suicide. I mean, that, that you got to know. Yes, you, sir. you got to know th th this thing is bigger than me. It's bigger than Lord, me. Lord, save me. Yes, save yes, me. Yes, yes. This, this is the thing I, I looked at, um, Pastor Bob, is that I was trying to figure out why did Peter want to walk on water? <laughs> We're in a storm. Come on now. Man, stuff it. The water is raging. Mm. Why would Peter mm. want to step out uh, in, into the thing? Into the thing. That's 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 causing Ooh, um, the boat to rock. Yes, Lord. Good. God told me. No, notice, because the Bible said he saw Jesus yes. walking on the water. Yeah. 
See, mm -hmm. he wanted to do what he saw Jesus did. Oh, my God. See, 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 can I tell you that sometimes things that, that, that cause the faith to shift, God will show you somebody doing it that wow. lets you know that you it's can possible. do it. Wow. Come on now. Come on now. What, 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 yeah. do, you think? What, what do you think on, on uh, Pastor Bob? Yeah. <laughs> you killed it, right? <laughs> Man, just, just that little piece right there, my, my dad used to tell me, he said sometimes when you're comfortable, you don't operate like you should. Yeah. But when you're uncomfortable, yes, sir. then God has a chance to work. So yeah. true. Because you're not operating yourself. Yes. Yes, sir. So I believe when he stepped out, he, he is uncomfortable. Yes. And now he's not operating himself. So like you said uh, about you know just being where Jesus was, because now I can see it. Yes. There's a lot of us that do believe in God. There's yes. a lot of us that stepping out on faith, but we're still walking by sight and not by faith. Yes. So now that I see Jesus walking on the water, I want, I want to walk too. So true. I, I want to step too. <laughs> I want to walk Walk it out like he yes, walking it out. Yes, so um, saying that to say, I'm I'm, I'm just Peter, man. He, he's just an awesome guy. He is, man. He he's is, an awesome man. guy. He 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 gave us that perfect example. Yep. Yep. If you just get out your comfort zone, so true. And trust in God. And trust God. You can do it. You can do it. Praise the Lord. You can do it. See, see, the reason Peter stepped out there. Help us, God. Because he said, "Greater works <laughs> that Great you work. can do." Come on now. See, Peter said that if Jesus was walking on that water. We've been told that I can do greater works. Yes, I can yes. walk on that too. Yeah, yeah. So then, then his faith put him out there in the water it did. because mm -hmm. Jesus had already predestined him to walk on the water anyway. Wow! In the beginning, right. when he was in his mother's womb, Peter was put here to walk on that water. Yes, yes. So if he if we put here to walk on the water, it just was a matter of time when you do it. Mm. Wow! Now, 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 when Jesus came walking on the water. Who knows what he looked like? Wow. But Peter saw somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why he said, if it be if, if, if it be thou, if it be, yeah. if it be thou, yes. yeah. then cause me to walk on the water. Yes. So look, look, look at look, look, look at this, this is a good part right here. When he <laughs> stepped out, it didn't say how far he walked. <laughs> he said he stepped out the boat. Yeah. yeah. So if he stepped out the boat, he could have been right beside the boat. It could have been 10 or 15 so feet. Deep, from, so but he, he believed yes. oh my God. that this shift was taking place. That's why I can do it. <laughs> Dr. Dr. So, so what, what, what happened here is that every time we do something, yes, we got to believe. We got to believe. No matter how so I true. mean, don't care what it look like. So don't true. care how it sounds. Don't yes, care what sir. it feel like. So true. You said a magic word. Mm. When you're comfortable, you don't. It, 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 if that stump had been in the road, right. Peter wouldn't want to walk on the water so true. because Jesus wasn't the king. Yep. Yeah. But the good part about it, somebody called him. Yes, Come sir. on now. Yes, sir. Come on, Doc. Dr. Frank, <laughs> you, you, you say that, that it, 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 what you said is, is that he don't know, we don't know how far he walked on the water. No, really? yeah. The only thing we know is that he walked That's on, it. on the water, yeah. stepped out of the boat. And if that's the case, He's still doing more than the disciples yes, that was sir. with him. Yes, That's sir. It. Can, That's see, it. can I tell you yes, that sir. some folk, they'll try to tell you that it don't take all of that That's right. because you're doing more. That's so true. That's so true. You shouldn't do all of that, but, but it's be only because you're doing more yes, than what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. you imagine the disciples on the boat? Peter, what are you doing? Yep. Peter, why are you out yep. there? Yep. Peter, you're going to drown. Can you imagine everything that Peter has to deal with, with, with walking out on the Hallelujah. boat and the disciples with it? Yes, sir. Huh? The pastor asked, I, what would you tell somebody who's believing God, Thank who's trusting Jesus. God in Thank faith, Jesus. And it seemed like they're over the head. I would tell them that the scripture says. Look at the camera and tell them. I would tell them that the scripture simply says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. And as your faith grow, your desire to be with God grows. As your faith grows, your desire for the things of God begin to grow. So what seems crazy to others will make sense to you. Uh, the whole piece about having faith is about being in uncomfortable situations. And it, 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 oftentimes God will bring us to a place of uncomfortable ability to stretch our faith. Um, you know, and how does that look in our modern day and our everyday living? It could be a decline in health. 
could be a bad diagnosis, could be financial crisis, it could be the reality of a divorce or marital problems. But when you walk by faith and not by sight, you know that I can't be concerned on my present or my now. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to what to what's about to be revealed in my life. Anytime God is trying to get more glory out of your life, he puts you in an uncomfortable situation. But the only thing that keeps you sane and holds you together is your faith. Amen. Amen. Pastor Bob, what would you tell somebody who's who's believing God and it seems like they're dealing with great opposition? My what would God. you tell them? Just well, take just take a few. Well, mm. My favorite scripture pops up when I think about that because it's something that I do to this present day uh, to my homeless uh, generation and, mm. and to my brothers and my sisters. Um, I tell them about Revelation, which a lot of people don't go to. Revelation, <laughs> <laughs> Revelation 3 and 8 says, Behold, I set before you an open door that wow. no man can close. Mm -hmm. And I let them know that only thing you have to do is simple. Walk like Peter walked. That's right. You have to walk through that open door because it's already open for you. And no man, nobody down here in this earth realm can close that door but you. Um, and standing on that, saying that, I would definitely encourage their spirit to let them know that you can do all things through and with Christ Jesus that's on your side. Mm -hmm. Straight to the point. Amen. Dr. Frank, share with somebody that who's trying to walk on faith, believe in God for something to shift in their life. Okay, before I do that, let me, let me, let me, let me say one thing. Yes, sir. If you're a true child of God mm. and you're praying, asking God for more faith and, and want him to do some things, if he does not do what mm. you asked him to do, mm. don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. A lot of times, to, to those out there in TV land, a lot of times people have an opportunity to, 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 to do things that God has called them to do, but you fail to do it because you don't think that you're qualified to do it. Mm. God said that he will, if he calls you, he's going to qualify you. He's going to make everything right for you. And there is no reason in, 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 in on this earth that you should not step out on faith. Yeah. Because if he calls you and, and, and justify you, he qualifies you, he gives you everything that you need, he even provides for you. Yeah. Although you, you, might, you might have, a, have a, a situation that you're going through right now that your faith is the only thing that are keeping you intact, keeping your mind together. But faith will always stay with you. Yes. I don't care where you go in any situation. If you got this faith or a mustard seed, that's all you got to have mm -hmm. of a mustard seed. Then everything going to be all right. But to you, <coughs> don't think God have forgotten you. Mm. It, that's not your season. My mm. God. I like that. Amen. I like Amen. That. Amen. I, I, w I was thinking about Peter, and, and he looked at Jesus out there on the wall. He said, if it's you, bid me to come. Because this is what I discovered on Pastor Asphalt. Yes, sir. That if God didn't want you to do it, <laughs> he would have never showed it to you. Mm. And, and, and if God didn't want Peter to walk on that water, he will not t t tell him to come. That's, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. So if he told him to come, then that's what he wanted him to do. <laughs> that's right. Now, now, so now like when, when God tells you to do something, <laughs> what you do? Are, are you sure it's are me? You sure? Are you yeah. sure? Are, are you real? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. We're trying to confirm with everybody in our family. So true. This is how we confirm. Oh, this is what the Lord said. said. Well, what do you think about this? <laughs> he didn't tell them. Yeah. He right. told you. Right. He, did, he told no other disciple. So true. He told Peter. He said, Peter, come. Yep. He gave him the green light to go. So true. And there, there are some people that God has given you the green light. He giving you the green light to open the business. Amen. He giving you the green light to go back to school. Yes. He giving you the green light to start the business. Yes. And you're still asking people. You're still trying to mm. confirm so with relatives. You're still trying to confirm with your friend. Yes. God called you to do it. Yes. And I just stopped by to tell somebody, he's giving you the green light. Yes. And on, this now. is the season that you go. Yes. Go after everything yes. that God has given yes. you. Yes. That it might seem like it's over your head. Yes. It might seem like it's too much. But God has given you the green 
green light to go. And that's your word for this season. That's your word, go. That that everything that God has told you, go. This is what he told Peter. He told Peter, he said, Peter, the devil has desired to sift you like we. Yes, yes. He said, but I didn't, I prayed for you that your faith fail you not. Notice what Jesus didn't say. He didn't say, I rebuke the devil. He didn't say, I'm going to move the devil. He said, I prayed for your faith. This is what I discovered, that Jesus had the power to stop the devil. Mm -hmm. He had the power to remove the devil. But he understood that, guess what? It's our faith. It's the opposition that show up in our lives that make our faith stronger, that take us to the next level. What do you think, Pastor Asai? I think it's exactly that. Um, when when he said, Peter, I've already prayed for you that your faith won't fail you. Yeah. Peter didn't know. He couldn't see the end result. Yeah. Oftentimes when God calls us to a thing, we can't see the end result. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's sort of like the beginning and the end, you know, but what, what, what determines that faith is what Peter did in the middle. What the Bible say? He denied him. Yeah. You know, he walked away from him. He did on him. But listen to what Jesus said. I pray for your faith. It was going to be his faith yeah. that will help him get back in line with God. Mm-hmm. And and that's what we got to remember, uh, people of God. We got to begin to be real. You, we're going to be confronted with some stuff. We're not going to always get it right. That's right. We're not going to always make the right decision. We're not going to always trust God. But, but, but when we understand that God is sovereign, that nothing happens in our life by accident, yeah. that everything he allows is for a reason, yeah. then our faith can get us back up and get us back on the right track. Yeah. Wow. What, what do you think? Oh, Man, personally, it was already predestined. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was already, <laughs> that's, just, that's something, it was already predestined. Um, by already being predestined, I mean, you know, he already had a purpose, a plan. So true. It was already divine. Uh, it was nothing that's going to come against it. Um, and again, just predestined keep rolling in my head. It was already predestined. But uh, I would say to everyone, just because uh, the teacher is quiet don't mean that he's not there. So true. Yeah. So true. So let that sit there for a second. Just because the teacher is quiet don't mean he's not there. When you're taking the test, uh, when they pass out the test, uh, the teacher's still in the room, but he's not speaking. He's not speaking. So a lot of us think that God done left us, and where where is that? Where is that? No, he's still there. Yeah, he's still he's there. just quiet. He's quiet because you're taking the test. Yeah. But after you pass, he comes back around Hallelujah. and he gives you that hundred, or he gives you that grade that you made. So the thing is, keep fighting, keep pressing, keep having faith. It's already predestined you're gonna make. It. And this is what I this is what I tell you, that when you understand that the journey of Jesus and disciples, that Jesus never um, tested them on anything that he hadn't first taught them. Mm-hmm. 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 That he sat down and mm-hmm. taught them, wow. and the after yeah. he taught them, yeah. then he gave them the test. Wow! And the great thing about God is that every test you take is Come open on, book. Open Come on book. now! Yes, it is. Yes, Come it on is. now! That's how do you fail an open book yes. test? How do you fail yes, God. When you're not reading, it's how, how the word of God? How do you? T- <laughs> and you know, Show one time, yeah. one time, one time I was in school, and they said, "Um, they said, well, the, the teacher didn't talk about that." Well, he told you to read the whole chapter. Uh. Mm. If you had read the whole chapter, you still would have passed. Man, I'm excited, man. I'm excited um, about this conversation. I'm excited about faith that causes things to shift. And I just want to tell somebody that you got to be like Peter, Mm. that God gives you the green light. Go, go, go. This has been Queen S Connection, real talk for real people. And we'll see you next time. If you would like to become a sponsor for the Queen Esther's Connections, or if you'd like to order a copy of the show, please call 706-980-7901.